Prevention through design encompasses all efforts of the design to minimize or reduce hazards for workers, whether it's in an active workplace, it's during construction, it's in facilities, and it's basically the elimination of hazards in design prior to starting construction or starting building. This project is for the Portland International Airport. It's a six-story parking garage with a five-story building attached to it. This parking structure is going to service the uh, airport rental cars. Uh, it's also with the five-story building is going to service airport operations. We also built a new toll plaza. I, I think the collaboration was huge for us because we got to really understand uh, where the port may look at different challenges and, and risk from their side from a maintenance standpoint. They got to understand from a constructability standpoint our challenges and our issues as well. So it, it really set a good tone early in the project for the importance of safety and the uh, in, importance of uh, managing risk and eliminating risk. We have z uh, several examples of how the design changed. Uh, a few that I can think of offhand are um, air handlers that were at one time were going to be on the roof of the uh, exit toll plaza which created a a height hazard for the maintenance uh, folks that will be servicing them once the construction is complete so we relocated those air handlers to ground level um, we also designed uh, the steel canopy that overhangs the the drivers that uh, exit the parking garage as well where at one time that would have been built in the air with lifts and additional cranes and things like that, we were able to build and fabricate that on ground level and then set it at height. So we minimized a, a lot of height exposure to our own workers as well. So we have two tunnels for the project. One is called the East Pedestrian Tunnel, which takes you to the six-story parking garage, and then the on-grade tunnel, which takes you to the uh, RCC building. In those uh, tunnels, there's LED light fixtures in there, which are at a significant height, which uh, without the design phase of it, would have required uh, maintenance staff to order a scaffold, which costs a significant amount of money, um, have it erected, have it built. We were able to design the light fixtures to be at uh, basically head height and that someone can just reach up and, and change it. Well, this approach allows me to get involved very early in design and work with the various stakeholders, the design and architects, our, our superintendents, our project management team, as well as the client as well too. And we're able to to look at, you know, what are we building? How are we going to safely build it? You know, where prior to things being fabricated, built, we've already engineered out the hazards. So the advice I would have is to engage your stakeholders, engage your client, engage your maintenance folks, project team, and the architects very early in design, so you can start that uh, relationship and collaboration building.